Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Lang. I'm a board certified optometric physician and certified nutritional specialist. Here with my guest and associate a doctor, Dr. Nathan Schramm. Dr. Nathan Schramm is also a board certified optometric physician and a certified nutritional specialist. Uh, we're both with Lang Eye Care and Associates and Fortify Vitamins. Um, what we're going to talk about today is omega-3. You know, Dr. Schramm, we hear about omega-3 on every infomercial, on the radio, on the TV, you know, and in magazines. I mean, we are under this omega-3 revolution right now. Right. And, and rightfully so, because omega-3 has so many health benefits. Right. It's good for the eyes, brain, joints, heart, hair, skin, and nails. It's uh, really a wonder supplement. Every day it seems like there's another study coming out that's saying that it uh, does something else that's good for you. Uh, but not every, most people are deficient in omega-3s. And uh, we've been blood testing our patients to uh, check their omega-3 levels. And I'd say 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10 patients are deficient in omega-3s. Um, why are they deficient in omega-3s? Because most of us don't uh, take a good quality fish oil or eat enough uh, oily fish like salmon or sardines, mackerel, tuna. So uh, people do take fish oil, but they're taking uh, fish oil that's not even absorbing. Uh, fish oil that may have gone rancid. Um, you're burping up your fish oil, that's a sign of rancidity. Uh, getting enteric-coated fish oil, a lot of times the fish oil passes right through you and never even absorbs because the coating is so thick. So we're going to talk a little bit about the differences in fish oil today and uh, how uh, Fortify fish oil, uh, the natural form of fish oil, is a lot more bioavailable or useful for your body. So let's first, let's talk a little bit about some of the beneficial health aspects of omega-3 fish oil. It's a potent anti-inflammatory, mm -hmm. so all the people out there with collagen vascular diseases, all of the itis, not only in the eye, uh, but people with dry eyes, keratoconjunctivitis, sicca, iritis, uveitis, retinitis, uh, we're finding more and more studies are indicating that the proper dosages of omega-3 from a good source of fish oil is beneficial for ocular health as well as overall health. We know now that omega-3 fish oil may actually slow down chromosomal aging. The end cap of the telomere uh, shortens at a slower rate uh, if you're taking a good omega-3 fish oil. Also, if you drink some green tea, that helps as well. Um, we find that uh, people on omega-3 are less likely, women, to develop breast cancer. Now pancreatic cancer is less likely to occur if you're taking a good omega-3 fish oil. It's good for your nails, your hair, your skin. Uh, it's good for your heart, your brain, your cognitive ability. It can help people with depression. So there's a whole host of health benefits for omega-3 fish oil. But as you know, uh, and our listeners now are aware, uh, there are many fish oils out there that are not as pure as they should be. Mm -hmm. uh, they're filled with PCP lead and mercury. There's actually a class action suit out there uh, where many of these companies that are manufacturing these fish oils are selling them as a class action lawsuit because they have an unacceptable amount of PCP in them. And so, that's cancer forming. Absolutely, a carcinogen. Now we don't need another reason to develop cancer. Mm -hmm. All right. So ew, a year and a half ago I went to Norway for about six weeks and, and met with some of the leading gurus on omega-3. We met with the krill industry, the squid industry, fish and different species of fish, and we came back uh, developing a product called Fortify Super Omega. Mm -hmm. And we have tested this and tested this and tested this. And you, between me and all the doctors at Lang Eye Care and the team at Fortify Vitamins, uh, we have literally thousands of patients on this product. Right. And what we're finding is, is some really miraculous uh, uh, testimonials from patients. Number one, uh, this is a product that nobody's burping up. Uh, they're not getting this rancid taste or a nasty smell. Mm -hmm. It has levels of EPA and DHA in a serving of two gel caps of close to 900 EPA, 600 DHA. Right. And I'll let you expand on uh, that omega-3 test that we're doing, that blood test that you have in your uh, hand there. Where we're actually, we've got 50 people in a study, uh, some of them, many of them are doctors that mm -hmm. work with us, right. uh, and we're determining that most of us are omega-3 deficient to begin with. Mm -hmm. Even if we're consuming some fish, our omega levels, or something called the omega index, isn't to the level that it should be to promote overall wellness. That's absolutely correct, and uh, what we're finding is uh, most people are around 4% on the omega index, uh, this blood test that we do, and 4% uh, is considered deficient. When, you, uh, when it goes up to 8% or above, uh, which is just a 4% increase, uh, reduces risk of uh, sudden heart attack by 90%. With uh, the Fortify uh, fish oil taking two a day, many of our patients in the study, most of them, as long as you weigh less than 220 pounds, 
Um, their, fit, their omega index is going up uh, usually about 4%, really reducing the risk of heart attack. What's good for the heart is also good for the eyes. Um, the, the, I have a, a, a um, paper here that is one of the uh, blood tests. and It tests not just omega-3s, it, it looks at all sorts of fatty acids like lauric acid, G, GLA, uh, linoleic acid, um, all sorts of omega-3s and omega-6s, and it gives you your uh, balance of omega-3s and omega-6s because most people have a very inflammatory type of diet. You have too much omega-6s in your diet and not enough omega-3s. Uh, if you can increase the amount of omega-3s by having the fish oil, eating more fish, uh, eating walnuts, that can increase it, and decrease the amount of omega-6s from uh, vegetable oils, um, you know, anything that's been fried, processed, processed foods, foods uh -huh, it will uh, lower your levels of omega-6s. And when it's in the right balance, you have uh, less inflammation in the, in the body and it's more healthful for overall health and your eyes. So simply by adding a good omega-3 fish oil to your diet could uh, you know, put the balance into a better ratio of omega-6 into omega-3. But also, we kind of accidentally stumbled onto something. We found that uh, a level called arachidonic acid, which is a pro-inflammatory mm -hmm. marker in the blood, and that is the bad part of the omega-6, yes. arachidonic acid, um, we found that certainly omega-3 brings down arachidonic acid, mm -hmm. but we found when we added astaxanthin, Folks, astaxanthin is what gives the orange color to wild Alaskan salmon. Salmon eat the little fish that eat the algae. It's called hematococcus, an algae that has this very potent antioxidant. It's a super carotenoid called astaxanthin. And we found now that when we add the astaxanthin at 6 milligrams uh, to the fish oil, what happens? Uh, it makes the levels of inflammation in the blood go down, like arachidonic acid uh, decreases when you add uh, uh, the astaxanthin, the focus, to uh, the fish oil. Uh, what's really unique about astaxanthin is it's not just an anti-inflammatory, it's also an antioxidant. Uh, you, most uh, anti-inflammatories are not antioxidants, so you're getting a, a two-for-one deal here. Uh, and astaxanthin, I mean, all the gurus of nutrition that you see on TV and on the internet now are all talking about the powers of astaxanthin. Like I said, it's a super carotenoid, a very potent antioxidant, much more uh, or much better at, at uh, combating against free radical damage than vitamin E, beta carotene, or vitamin C. Mm -hmm. um, it is a potent anti-inflammatory, and we're seeing this in our studies. Uh, it's bringing arachidonic acid levels down. It also helps uh, reduce tumor necrosis factor, C-reactive protein, and helps uh, reduce series two prostaglandins, which are pro-inflammatory. But there's some other health benefits of astaxanthin. Japanese Olympian athletes are using it now because it aids in muscle recovery and uh, muscle endurance. Mm -hmm. uh, we also depth perception uh, for athletes, for people who are, uh, are shooting or golfing or you know any sport, uh, motocross, which is your 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 sport. Love to twist the throttle. <laughs> uh, astaxanthin can improve depth perception. We're also finding that. Uh, Focusing ability, mm -hmm. all right. The accommodative ability. Right. Astaxanthin. Many studies have shown that the amplitude of accommodation, the ability to focus better, is actually improved when you're taking astaxanthin. And you're in a little bit of a study that you've been doing with yourself. Right, right. Uh, I talk to my patients when they're in their 40s, they start to lose the focusing ability, and I say to them, "Look, it's been happening for years. I'm in my mid 30s, and it's blurry right about here." Well, that's not true anymore. Now it's blurry right about five, six inches from my, from my face instead of uh, ten inches from my face. And that's uh, through the power of astaxanthin. It does help with focusing ability and there's uh, double-blind placebo-controlled studies that have been done showing that it uh, does that in humans, helps with uh, focusing ability. Also, astaxanthin is a potent UV inhibitor. It also helps to block the HIV light. That's the high-intensity visible spectrum of the sun that may accelerate cataracts as well as macular degeneration. So uh, there are some studies out there in Italy, the KARMA study, that is actually uh, possibly linking uh, beneficial aspects to macular degenerative patients by taking astaxanthin as well. So what we've done, we've actually combined lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin. Those are three very important carotenoids for retinal health and something called Fortify Focus. So it has a whole aspect of health benefits, 
Uh, when you combine it with omega-3 fish oil, you kind of get the double whammy. Uh, it is something that most of us are deficient in. We've got blood studies that show we're deficient in omega-3. Uh, we're not getting it. Even people that are taking omega-3 supplements, they're not taking the right concentration or the right form, the triglyceride form. They're taking the ethyl ester form. We're going to expand on that briefly in just a second. So uh, we're all deficient in astaxanthin because we're not eating wild Alaskan salmon on a daily basis. Right. So these are two things that the public can actually put into their diet, a good super omega and a good astaxanthin product uh, to have benefit their total health and ultimately benefit their ocular health as well. Let's discuss a little bit about the differences. It's a somewhat controversial area, uh, especially with uh, promoters of the ethyl ester brand of fish oil. Uh, but there's basically two types of fish oil that are readily, readily available in the market. Uh, the most prevalent is ethyl ester fish oil. Um, and the form that we have is called a triglyceride form fish oil. Expand a little bit, Dr. Shram, on the benefits of triglyceride versus ethyl ester. Well, ethyl ester is the cheaper way to make fish oil. When you concentrate a fish oil, uh, ethyl ester is, uh, is made to concentrate it. And it's actually a synthetic type of fish oil. That's, that's uh, not even a, a real type of fat that's present in nature. Um, with uh, triglyceride-based fish oil, it, it costs a little bit more to make it that way. That's why most of the companies don't do it. But it absorbs uh, so much better. Um, a lot of these studies are showing around 50% better absorption by taking a triglyceride-based fish oil. Plus the ethyl ester is a lot more, is a lot less stable or very unstable. So it, it can uh, denature faster, you can have that um, fishy burps, the fishy aftertaste, the fishy smell to the capsules. So um, it's a little bit more expensive for the company to make the triglyceride-based fish oil and I think that's why uh, most of the companies are hesitant to do it that way. But it absorbs so much better and more and more studies are coming out now showing how it absorbs much better. Absolutely. So when you're shopping for a good omega-3 fish oil, uh, look for a triglyceride form omega-3 fish oil. Look for an EPA uh, of around or close to 900 in two gel caps and DHA around 600 uh, in two gel caps. Uh, that's going to give you some therapeutic value that we've actually been studying. Like Dr. Schramm had mentioned in our omega-3 study, uh, basically 100% of the patients 100% of the patients under 220 pounds, if they took two Fortify Super Omegas, their Omega Index went over 8%. Now, we're studying heavier people. We've got a lot of people in the study over 220 pounds where we're seeing that uh, we have to give them three and sometimes even four uh, of the Super Omegas. So when you think about it, this is a very concentrated form. How many fish oils would they have to take if it was an ethyl ester version they buy over the counter? I mean, they might have to be taken Plenty of those. Who knows? Right. But then they're going to be getting a lot of contaminants, mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, the key here is to help patients not harm them. We want to give you the purest products available uh, that are going to benefit your total health and your ocular health. Dr. Schramm, I want to thank you for being a guest right. and uh, talking with us about Omega 3 here today. And we'll talk some more about some other aspects of nutrition and vision health uh, coming up in the near future. Sounds good. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.